Hello everybody, my name is Freya and welcome to the VHS Paradise. I hope you have a wonderful day shopping in my shop, store, thing, whatever it is. Um, it could be whatever it is you want it to be. Do I have your, your suspected movie? I have no idea. Do we have a back room? More than likely, yes. Do we advertise it? No. But, for good reason. Only certain individuals can go in there. And if you don't know about the back room of video stores, then you are too young. And I will not go into any further explanation of it. This is my blockbuster. It may be dead, but it still lives inside my head. Now, seamlessly go from opening menu into the abyss, it seems like. But as I said before, still lives in my head. Door opens for me because it knows I'm the master. Ah, yes, perfectly good movies. The Pizza Massacre of 87. The Bite of 87. And if you look right here, we got Blade. Freddy vs. Jason. Halloween. Uh, look, oh, look right here. We even have Kill Bill. Uh, what else do we have here? Fish Eye Lens. Am I supposed to check in? I'm trying to watch some movies would be this yes purple paper i'll watch the movie after work why is it already there is a better question hi robert who's robert that's definitely not me i hope you are well i hate this damn fever but i'm recovering did you come into work and put that there with a fever remember to start your shift by turning on the computer i have left a good movie for you to watch when you finish your work Describe this movie because it's definitely next to the back room, which is definitely not a bathroom. By the way, I heard that the rate of thieves increased a lot in the city and much more at nighttime. <sighs> well, you know, this is America. I have weapon. Pay attention to what each customer is doing. If you see one leaving without paying, run to stop him and immediately eviscerate him from existence. Be very careful. Well, I'll be careful, but they need to be careful of me. Oh, see? The back room. You see what I mean? And we even have a computer. Anyway, uh... Is this the special back room? Uh, someone's already... It's occupied. All right. Let's see what we got here. Well, we got some CDs as well. Ooh, look at this famous movie right here. SWAT. Dawn of the Dead is right there. Chernobyl Diaries. Definitely came out before... I mean, after VHS has died. Uh, what is this? Dawn of the Dead... From George A. Romero. Diary of the Dead. These are all... Definitely that's Resident Evil. Oh, would you look at that? I can't crouch. Yeah, no, I can't crouch. Uh, oh, well. Enough looking at my selection of movies. I'm not here for a tour. I'm here for work. Start to shift. Press Y to answer yes. Press N to answer no. How about N? Alright, now let's actually start the work. Ah, perfect dial-up. My monitor cur currently on my PC tower. Ah, the first customer of the day. And as like every annoying employee, I must follow them. Excuse me, ma'am. Are you finding anything with the, with the... Okay, okay. Do you need any help today? Yes, no? Oh, you found the perfect movie. White noise. Hey, don't touch me, asshole. Call the police if you want. I don't care. I'm not here to just touch. I'm here to defile. Forgive her and let her go. No. I'll make, yo, I'll make an example out of you. Tell your friends. You ain't, you ain't stealing from the VHS paradise. Ah, hello, Ellen. Oh, yes. How may I help you? Hello, boy. Do you have the movie Dune here? Well, since it's this VH, never mind. That movie did release on VHS. So I believe there's a the, the the first the Dune and Dune Two with Zendaya and I forget dude's name, Paul Atreides. It, those are remakes. There was an original. 
I will check for you right now. Hello, ma'am. That movie is currently in the cinema. It's not yet in VHS stores. You need a... Back in VHS days, it'll probably be the same in distribution with DVDs and Blu-rays and all that. So, you would need to wait a good three months before it's actually distributed on VHS. About three months. Uh, I don't like the cinema. I'll have to wait then. Well, you could go in the morning, get a matinee screening, cheaper prices for tickets, if I may say, and everyone goes at night, so you don't have to worry about meeting anyone there. I'm here in a couple of weeks. We may have that movie on sale by then. In a couple of weeks. Where VHS is faster than DVD? Oh. I understand. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Third thing. Have a good day. A good night. Although there's another movie back here called The Dunes Holes. Oh, she left. Oh, so much for The Dunes Holes. Have you excuse me? I must room. Ah, a customer. I'll be... Yes, hello, Mr. Sir. May I help you today? Are you looking at our collection of Max Payne? Oh, okay. May I introduce you in this in this movie over here? It's called Blade Trinity. Definitely one of the best in the series. Hey, hey. Dude, I'm unemployed and in debt. I just want to watch a movie in peace, please. Uh, you know what? Does it look like I give a shit? Get a job. We're hiring. Do you need an application? If you want to watch a movie in, please, in peace, we have a back room in the back. You can rent the movie. Just sign off your soul and we'll let you watch it for free. Crime does not pay, nor does it forgive. Good luck in prison. They have free movies in there. They think, they think I'm just some pushover. Just because I work at Blockbuster out there. They didn't put that movie of a 47 Ronin back. Ah, Mr. Sir, how may I help you today? Good night. Ah, are you looking at the hit Judge Dredd? Oh, okay, you can push me out the way. Ah, may I interest you in The Godfather? Parts 1 and 2. Part 3 is okay, but you, you really should just watch the first two. Oh, an actual paying customer. You are rare. I will give you that for free just because of how rare it is that someone pays. How may I help you today? Good night, sir. I'm taking this film for one day. Here's the $2. After a bad day, there is nothing better than spending the night watching a good movie at home. I, I know exactly what you mean. What happened? I was fired due to downsizing. I worked in an office. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Did you like that job? No, my boss was an idiot. The good thing about all this is that while I look for another job, I will have time to meet, to meditate and for myself. I understand. Luckily, my boss is a good person. He tries to encourage me to be happy with this job, but he still doesn't succeed. I hate this job. Do you want a job? You want to take mine? I'm planning to get. I'm planning to quit. I hear GameStop is about to blow up. Best Buy or Circuit City? Each one. I have a better chance. If you don't know what what Circuit City is, you are still too young. Very often, I have to deal with very strange people, and also with thieves. It's horrible, but unfortunately, I have to continue with this job because I have to pay for my studies. But as I said before, Circuit City looking to be going on the up and up. Radio Shack as well. I'm, they might have an opening for me, and I will be happily going over there. They're going to stick around forever. There's no way they're going to shut down. If you don't know what Radio Shack is either, please. Like, come on, if, I'm, I'm using actual store names and, store, and even movie names. Yes, lately the city is very insecure. There's a lot of crime and many crazy people on the loose. You have to take care of yourself. Well, I take care of myself just fine. They think I'm a pushover. I'm no pushover. I push them over. Well, I hope that's, that soon the work situation will improve for both of us. You just have to be optimistic. Goodbye. Well, I am very optimistic. Radio Shack, Circuit City, both look very, very promising. Fry's Electronics is another one that I'm looking into right now as well. Definitely will never shut down. Everyone needs electronics these days. Fry's Electronics, perfect place to work right now. I'll tell you what. They sell every electronic device needed. That will never go out of business. How can you say it, that it will? Everyone needs electronics. I'm looking into the future. Thank you very much. Have a nice night. 
Where the two dollars? Where's the cash register? Is it in the back room? The ill-fated back room? Or is this the private? We have a basement? We have a basement. Hey, hello. Hello, ma'am. May I interest you in our basement? I just realized we had it. Oh, I see. You found the perfect movie. Dawn of the Dead. Oh, it wasn't Dawn of the Dead? All right. I really like that one from George A. Romero, by the way. May I interest you in War of the Worlds? The War of the Worlds? Hi, I'm taking this movie with me for two days. How much I had to pay? Well, the fact that you're the second paying customer I have, and it's two days, that means it's free? You're the second customer that's walked in that is actually paying for their movie, and you're renting it for two days? What is the coincidence that you're going to be two and two? Take it for free. You've won our giveaway. Matt, that's... Hi, it's three dollars. Why did the other guy pay me two dollars for one day? You will love this movie. It is one of my favorites. Psycho. Yes, definitely one of the, one of my favorites. A good horror movie. Alfred Hitchcock, one of the best horror directors ever made. Ever, ever, ever to ever live. Okay, here you go. I don't have time to chat. The street is very dangerous at night. Bye. Oh, yes, it is. Take my car. It'll get you there just fine. Who said you need my keys to drive? Just take it. I want it back in a few hours when I'm off work. Okay, she's just gonna walk. I should have recommended her Vertigo if she's checking out Hitch. Eh, Psycho works fine. Alright. Ah! Hello, sir. May I interest you in this hit movie? Raging Bull? Yes, Raging Bull. It is definitely a really good movie you should watch. It's about boxing, and I know you. You, you, you're definitely into that movie, right? Naughty rabbits in a sexy adventure. Do you want... Why is that in the front and not in the back? I'm sorry, sir. I forgot to restock the back room. Uh... I am surprised you even... You knew exactly where to go and you found it immediately you didn't even come to ask to go in the back room you just found it immediately but okay naughty rabbits and a sexy adventure do you want to buy it or rent it you got a you got a good taste in there i want to buy it oh good 80 dollars please i mean 20 dollars i'm not trying to, to steal money from you here is the money well, thank you i'm surprised you're only cashier who doesn't look at me with disgust or rejection when he sees that i want to buy a movie like that well, if I'm reaching into my real life, I have bought games of questionable cover, of questionable cover, um, such as Senran Kagura. I have bought that in a store, not online or anything. I have bought on the PS Vita, uh, Criminal Girls, who? So. Why am I, like, hesitating? I mean, if anyone follows... If anyone's friends with me on Steam, they'd see I also have the first Criminal Girls. I also have some other games on there, but the... I, I play these games on my main account. Now, when it comes to movies, I don't know why you buy. Because... The internet. But seeing since my dinosaur of a computer over here is having trouble staying on for more than two hours... Listen to it. I could understand. Internet porn. No need. The truth is that I don't give you a. <laughs> the truth is that I don't give a damn. You can go now. <laughs> I also like this movie. The scenes are very exciting, if you know what I mean. We got a basement. That I just found out we had a basement. You want to go and watch it together? I'll lock up the store. I'll just say I went out to lunch, even though I started my shift ten minutes ago. I'm sorry, but I'm not allowed to chat with customers. I'm chatting with them every time. You see me walking around. Look at the cameras. I have to close the shop now. I don't have time to stay and talk to you. Thank you very much for your purchase. Options one works for me because that just sounds like something I'll say. But option two just seems like the best one. So let's go with option two. That's right. My name is Kyle. What's your name? Well, it's Freya. I mean, it's Robert. Nice to meet you. Can I ask you a question? Is it about our back room or is it about our is it about the, our basement? 
You, we want to go in the basement? There's a giant TV, popcorn machine, and everything down there. Sure. Are you happy in this job? Do you fulfill your dreams here? Why do you ask? I'm curious. Well, if you if you would like to know, let me just take you down to the basement, and you you would you would you would, um, I mean no. The truth is that I'm not happy. It was never in my plans to work in a VHS store. Fry's Electronics and Circuit City, those are my go-to places. Even Radio Shack, if they ever call me back. My boss does everything he can to make me have a good time here, but the truth is, it doesn't work. I mean, who, who would want to work in a VHS store? Although, if those three options are uh, GameStop still, 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 you know, games are going on the up and up now, I hear. Have you seen those lines for the Nintendo 64 and the PlayStation? Them's huge. Them's look like high paying jobs. Except for if you're buying an Atari. It makes me very sad to hear that. But we got a basement if you'd like to go in and see it. I swear. It's just it's normal basement. Well, it was nice meeting you, Robert. I hope to see you soon. You will. In the basement. Also, bye. I'm serious about the basement. Do you want to go in and see it? Oh, okay. Well, time to. Well, my shift is over. Is it really? Now let's watch the movie that John left. Ah, uh, that's fine. Let's pick up the movie. First, I have to turn off the car alarm. I don't need to. I have keys. Let me look at the basement real quick. I was actually right about some parts of the basement. I've never played this game before. <laughs> Okay, so we do got a TV. There ain't no popcorn machine in here, but we got a back. We got a we got the better back room back here. Oh, look at this right here, lusty luscious babes. Um, I I I leave the the car alarm on. Maybe a police will come and they'll, they'll take care of it. Is this the bathroom or is this the better basement? Do we go downstairs another floor? I'm having too much fun in this horror game. I'm about to die. I'm having way too much fun in this. Hey, car. Shut up. I thought the mechanic had fixed the alarm problem, but apparently not. I hope John's movie doesn't disappoint me. The door did not close behind me, but I don't care. I'm gonna close up the shop, turn off the lights, lock the door. Never mind. Close the shop and watch the movie. Do I have to censor the movie? <laughs> I really hope- okay. What a mediocre movie. I've never seen such a predictable ending. I wonder what Joss saw- what John saw in this to recommend it to me. God, I can't believe it. I spent f one and a half hour of my life watching this trash? Can't believe it, man. Why, why, why would you recommend this to me? It's such a cliche ending. Damn it, John, your taste in movies. Why? This is good. This is good. You, you think I, I would find happiness in this movie? Let me take it out. What, would, what the hell did I watch this time around again? What is this? Oh, right. It's it right there in the title. What, what this movie and how bad it is gonna be. Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Yes. How could no one have noticed that the bad guy was the one covering half of his head? I better go home. I'm tired of being here. We have plants? <gasps> oh no! He heard me talk bad about his movie! You are not going to get me! Yeah, I'm not even gonna call the cops. I'm just gonna go straight home. Am I driving or is this a cutscene? What? Don't work! You died in a traffic accident. Ending two of three. A game by Fedev. The fact that you're on this, like, 
<laughs> Even this whole thing. Many things to, like... <laughs> this, is a, this is a really good uh, ending screen. Well, there's three endings. Let's go back in. If, if any of you like Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, I'm just making a joke. I do like the Harry Potter movies, but uh, you know, it's just uh... what happens if I let them just run. Like, if I just forgive them for the movies. Yep, let's start. I'm trying to remember like what actual movie I hated. And for some reason Harry Potter was the first one to come in mind. Is your path randomized? I don't remember you walking this far. Are you going to pay for that? Well, the fact that you said I'll call the police. Hello? What has happened? I am pressing E to continue. Alright, let me quit the game. Let me go through all this again. Is it because I, I was too far away from stopping her? You're not the person that comes in first. Oh, well, no thank you for me holding the door open for you. Listen here. I, I don't care if you like that movie. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you that. I'll spoil the ending for you. You know what? I'll forgive you. I'll let you go. Get out my damn paycheck over there liking such trash movies like I mean come on as if you're new oh hello I don't remember you in a previous encounter well just push me out the way why don't you and your damn square shirt excuse me madame excuse me madame Ah, yes, I see you found the selection. Friday. That is definitely a good move. Yes. Now, will you... What? Please, it is my son's birthday. He is seven years old and wants to have this movie very much. But I have no money. Have mercy. Ah, uh, sure. Yeah, you do. go ahead, take it. What do I care? They're just movies. I don't even like this job. Would you like to go to our basement? Are you the one who's called me an asshole? Well, you got that movie really quick, so maybe you're not. You're our first paying customer. The fact that the, the renting thing is, is like that cheap. Well, even for inflation, but uh, I'm trying to remember, like, even back then when we used to go to Best Buy, not Best Buy, uh... Well, oh, you're someone different, too. Uh, when we used to go to Blockbuster, I don't remember the price for renting movies. Then again, I believe you had to open an account for it. Uh, yes, hello. Rocky 3? Yes, you'll buy it. $20. Excellent. Finally. Finally what? I finally reached 100 movies purchased. I love collecting these wonders. You even watch the movies? No. I don't see them. I buy them just to decorate my house. Okay. Uh, are you going to pay or what? Ah, yes. Take it. Thank you very much.
Now I start to wonder, people that have like these massive game collections, do they actually like end up, or do they play those games or are they just decorating the house like this, this person just came in and just immediately was like, no, I don't, I don't, uh, I don't watch them. I just decorate my house. Are you the one who called me an asshole? Yes, but you better go pay for that. I've already let too many movies go for free. Hello, I want to rent this for three days. Good evening. It's four dollars. Here you go. My son will love this game. Thank you, Anna Ferris. Is this a gift for your son? Don't you think you should buy the movie instead of renting it? No, he watches the movies repeatedly the first few days and then completely forgets about them. <laughs> he is 11 years old. He loves action movies. Ah, I see. So you got The War of the Worlds. There's a remake coming in a good maybe 20 years or so. We'll get him in that one as well. Oh, okay then. Thanks for your purchase. It stars Tom Cruise. You might not know who it is. Thanks to you. Bye. Oh, is it so it's randomly generated who comes into my shop? Because, yeah, that one was, uh... Some of these I never got. Are you the one that's looking for the bunnies? Naughty rabbits in a sexy adventure. That's what I meant to say. I want to buy. Okay, it's twenty dollars. Yes, okay, yeah. No, I also like this movie. The scenes are very, very exciting. Top tier events. Thank you, Kyle. Are you the one who kills me? Now that I think about it, I believe. Uh, also, was the killer just standing behind me watching the, watching the movie with me? Is that another ending? Well, do I die? Oh? Oh, is it because I talk shit about his movies? He's gonna make me watch Naughty Rabbits in a second. Okay. Missing. Okay, so, uh... <laughs> He's making me watch the porn movie with him or something? I assume that's what it is anyway. But, uh, okay, let's go in. Ending number three. Maybe it's some of the people that I like. Obviously, it's not the whole uh, thing, but, uh... So is there like a thing where I'm just like I'm kicking everyone out or do I just like try not to get friendly with that guy I, I'll, I'll do that I'll try not to get friendly with him I'll be hostile towards him and then we'll see what happens oh I didn't start my shift no wonder no one's coming in oh that's not the vibe out of water. I'm sad. Are you the one that calls me an asshole? You most definitely are. The fact that you're 
trying to find a specific movie in different aisles that are that are in different places. Why are none of these VHS cases in their cases? No, that I'm thinking about. Oh, you're actually paying. I guess you're not the one that calls me an asshole. Three dollars for two days. I'm, I'm, that guy comes in again. I'm just gonna kick him out. I'm gonna see what happens. I'm gonna just say, yeah, we're closed for the night. Sorry. You're the one that calls me an asshole. Excuse me, ma'am. But I know you're not here with good intentions. So you better best be ready to get into the big house. I'm not going to forgive you. Tase him and take him to jail. <laughs> the nerve of some people calling me the asshole when they're coming into my store and stealing from me. I can't believe it. Ah, you're not the you're not a thief. At least I don't think you're a thief. There's no way, right? Okay, good. Rent this movie for three days and it's four dollars. Well, thanks, Anna. One computer on is already enough noise. Oh. Hi, uh, do you know anything about microwaves? Do you, do you know anything about microwaves? Boy. You know what? You're giving your son a bad a bad lesson. You can wish your son happy birthday behind glass or behind bars. A microwave is broken. Hey, wait a minute. Didn't you die, Scar Scarlet? I clearly remember you be- Do you remember me? I shot the person that tried to stab you? Or actually kidnapped you, I guess? I worked at the front desk. Ronald McDonald came- oh, Okay, I guess- Different person? Ah, hello. I'm taking this movie for one day. It's two dollars, right? Hello. Yes. Well, I'm new in the city, you know. It's pretty late. I heard there's a lot of crimes. Stay at this motel. They, they say they have a kitchen, but it's just Ronald McDonald. Yes, be careful. Move here or are you on vacation? Moving here with my husband. Uh, we hope everything goes well. Oh, I understand. Well, I have to go. Good night. Goodbye, good luck, and take care. I gotta go blow up a microwave in, the, in our basement. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. We don't serve your kind here. I can't kick him out. Well, I will just, uh... So, I, both times I chose the second one. There's three endings into this. I can't really kick anyone out, I don't think. So... Well, the truth is, I don't give a damn. 
You can go now. Good job. Making me think like I, I, all my shift is over. Now let's watch that movie John left. Is there anything else that I could blow up besides microwaves? Like, can I blow up the fridge? Oh, both microwaves are exploded, so... go down there either well I guess uh, it uh, would be better if I just don't turn around and just leave Oh, never mind. He's already after me. Ah! So, he'll still come at me and, uh, wow, yeah. Naughty rabbits in a sexy adventure. Why? Like, like, there's definitely another ending somewhere, and it has to do something to do with the microwaves exploding. So, uh, yeah, let me see if there's something else I need to do. So I got two endings. First one that I got was accident because I just ran away. That seemed like the easiest one to get to. That seemed like the obvious one to get. The other one, of course, is, you know, just let him capture you. So what am I left to do now that uh, there's clearly something else I need to do? It's I'm just uh, not really sure. Yeah, I don't know. I, I'm not really sure. Let me uh, go through this again. But I feel like there is something to do with uh, the other end, uh, not the other endings, the other choices, because uh, it's it just seems to me like I need to be more hostile. I need to be abrasive when it comes to this. So I feel there's something that has to do with this. So you're not a thief.
excuse me while I blow up this microwave real quick. You hear that poppy noise? I didn't. All right. Well, that's what it is, I guess. Yes. Hello. Rent this movie for three days. Four dollars. All right. He loves action. Yes. 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 I'm gonna go blow up another microwave real quick. Okay, yeah, yeah, thanks for the thanks. Excuse me while I ring the bell all for the next time. Ring for success on my multiple playthroughs. You know what, I don't care. You just steal steal it, just, and I'll just be back here. Go ahead, make off with it. I don't care. I'm too busy on my Game Boy. I'm playing Pokemon Red here. You're new. Hello. How may I be of service? May I introduce you into a comedy kung fu movie? It's called Kung Fu Hustle. Pretty funny. And it's got some good action scenes. Yes, that one right there. Kung Fu Hustle. I assure you, you will like it. Can't wait to get home to watch it? Sure thing. Sounds good. I, I appreciate it. Any reason why you decided to walk up here? Yeah, do no, we don't have. That. You see those two people running out there? Let me know if they get hit by a bus. Avoiding talking to me. How rude of some people. Not that bad of an employee, I don't think. Uh, it's Mr. Rabbit again. Oh, I will be very abrasive when it comes to you. Did you find your adult film that you're trying to look for? Alright, let's see what... Uh, I'm sorry, but I'm not allowed to chat with customers. I have to close the shop now. I'm sorry, but I'm not allowed to chat with customers. Uh, sorry. Enjoy the movie. Bye. Bitch. Bitch ass. Get out of here. Get out of my store. Oh, that's weird. My car alarm didn't go off. All right, time to run. You ain't gonna get me from into my car. Why is this bus here? Like, I get it's a bus stop, but this bus doesn't have tail lights or brake lights. This is the biggest violation that I could sue the city for. I need three of three. You have arrived home safely. Well, I got all three endings. Would you look at that? And I didn't even have to worry about catching anyone that was like, you know, hey, hey, yeah, you know, 
you both you guys stealing yeah, it's make off with the booze i'm not even making fun thing making any you know cash thanks for playing thank you for making the game i actually had a lot of fun with this I, I i feel like i put myself way too much into the salesperson thing if i work at a retail job i am not gonna be like this believe me well, why is that yellow now is it because i completed all three endings well anyway clearly there is more to this game than meets the eye i believe there that it said that there were some other easter eggs and stuff in this game as well i don't know any, what to do to get them nor do i know why i could blow up the microwaves but uh i'm assuming that's a step to something but i'm not sure what there's also the whole thing with the the fourth thing like oh yeah i gotta lock up now maybe that response has something that leads to something else i have no idea if it does, I'll leave it to you all to find out for yourselves. Link in the description, as always, with every game that I play. This one is free. And uh, if you were expecting more Emika games, the reason I'm not doing that tonight is because I forgot to install the next game in line. And the next game is a pretty hefty install. It's uh, 16 gigabytes, I think. And I just didn't want to to stay and wait for that to finish downloading so I, I just found this game instead and this game is a lot smaller compared to that so I played it I had a lot of fun with this <laughs> there's definitely some some scares in this but like but yeah, and I had really I had a lot of fun definitely something else that's I'm pretty sure is going to happen it can't just be what was just left there I also noticed this little reticle here telling me like hey there's something there and i press e nothing happened okay so i'll leave the rest to you tomorrow or next time next time i stream it will be an emika games game i'll have that pre-downloaded already just so i can just jump right into it when that happens but in the meantime i will leave it all here Thank you for joining me on my adventure. If you heard me mention any movies, which I've mentioned quite a bit in this one, um, I believe I recommend most of them. Raging Bull, I've seen. Dawn of the Dead, George A. Romero. So, the Dawn of the Dead I'm more familiar with is the, I believe it's 2004, the remake. That was, I believe it was Zack Snyder's directorial debut. It was also a screenplay made by James Gunn. And... They took the... I don't know if they were the first. It was either that one or 28 Days Later that took the the whole walking zombies. And they made them run. It was either that one or 28 Days Later that did it first. I don't remember. Or it could be some other obscure movie that I didn't watch. But, uh... Yeah. Well, 28 Days Later, they're not really zombies. They're just... Angry. They're infected with rage. It's actually called the rage virus. If you haven't seen it, I, I, I do recommend to watch both of them. Dawn of the Dead 2004 is still one of my favorite zombie movies ever made. Ever. And I've seen quite met quite a lot. That one still holds up today. I, I rewatched it and I have fun rewatching it as many times. 28 Days Later, also pretty good. It has a sequel called 28 Weeks Later. And going by titles, you'd expect that the next one will be, will be called 28 Months Later, but no. The ne the sequel to that one is still in development, I believe. I believe it comes out next year, or it's slated for next year. It's going to be called 28 Years Later. So, yeah, I'm not going to spoil anything on those movies, despite them being old. Just watch them for yourself. I do highly recommend them. Watch them with me if you'd like. If I host movie nights, that's uh, that's that's to come to the future. But as of now, thank you for joining me on this adventure. I hope I helped make your day at least a little better. If you want to defend any movie that I said and I talked bad about, or if, if, if any movie I said turned out to be an actual title involving certain things, I I. That's purely coincidental. I, I promise you.
But uh, yeah, thank you for joining me on this adventure, and I will talk to you all next time. I hope I help make your day at least a little bit better. Um, I usually have a spooky thing to say at the end of like all of these for Spooktober. I can't think of one just because I had so much fun with the VHS Paradise. But uh, yeah, I guess the only thing I could mention is what if we're all everything we're 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 doing today. What if it's all just a dream? We're in someone else's dream. This could all fade away. And we will never know, because we never really existed. Yeah, think about that for now. <laughs> the existential crisis that's about to happen. Uh, yeah, I'll see you all next time. Sleep in fear tonight, because the killer bunch.